uh, Minecraft style on front of crap out of this tree. Come here, piggy. Alright, easy. Oh. Oh, come off it. Dead on day one. Beautiful bloody dogs. What's up, survivors? I'm Natural Born, and in today's video, we're not only starting a brand new Let's Play, but the first Let's Play of this channel. Now, the seed that I'm using is called Insane HC A14. I'll put that on screen. Now, the reason that we're using this seed is because it's supposed to have 11 cities, 10 traders, and 2 missile silos. So I thought for a long-term Let's Play, it could be a pretty fun seed. We've got the difficulty set to Nomad, we've got spawns on high, loot respawn timer at 15, the days are 1 hour long, and airdrops at 3 days, with markers on. Now, for anybody who is new to this game, if you look around here, roughly about 32 blocks in each direction, you're actually inside of a safe zone. So until you venture out of this, zombies won't be spawning on your map. Now something else that I do want to point out is that I'm strictly a console player when it comes to this game, and that's not by choice. So everything that I record and edit is all done on the PlayStation 4, so I'm going to try my best to edit out all of the boring stuff and keep it interesting for you guys. So let me know in the comments below what type of things you'd like to see in this series. I do have a few goals. Um, if you watch my tips and tricks video, one of them's the way of the hoarder. We will be collecting every item in the game at the highest quality possible. I'd like to build a base in every biome. I'd like to build multiple different hoard bases just to check them out, see how they work. You've got pit bases. You've got four bases with poles and wedge tips. That's what I use. I personally think it's the best. And you've got pillars. Look, we've got a deer over there. Now, I'm not going to bother hunting animals right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to run around and start collecting some resources. Alright, time to craft our bedroll. Now, something else that I want to point out too, is if you spawn into a random gen world, at 0, zero on every random gen map, you're going to find... A hub city so where are we down here somewhere around this area right here there's actually a hub city now i do not recommend going there on day one that is a terrible idea and it's not going to end well for you but something worth noting for later in your world all right so i'm going to collect some resources and just smash through these early game quests and i'll be back with you in a minute Right, Minecraft style. Time to punch the crap out of this tree. Alright, might actually be time to look on the map and pick a direction. So, we probably want to go north. Get away from the hub city and get out of the burn fire. Oh, and bird nests. Almost forgot. Always want to keep an eye out for bird nests in your game, early game. Now you want to be crafting arrows before you start crafting your weapons. Crafting a bunch of arrows is going to help raise your weapon smithing level, which is going to result in better quality weapons. Now throughout the night we will be bolt crafting a bunch of um, wooden clubs, but yeah, before we get to that point, arrows are going to be key for that more feathers. I should probably hold on to that iron pipe, just in case. Some duct tape, I can actually hear a burn victim. I don't know where he is, but he doesn't know where I am. So we're just going to keep looting and making our way out of the forest and collect as many feathers as possible on the way. Oh, scrap that. Here's our first zombie. Where is he? There he is. Alright guys, we have to crack it. Alright, what do we got? Plastic and glue. Don't really need it, but we'll take it. Now it's a pity that we don't actually have any bones to make a bone ship. Because we'd have a chance of getting a piece of meat from these uh, burnt, burnt bodies. And you harvest them before they turn into a box. There, we've got another one. Oh, he got us. Right, easy. Apparently, need the 
paper either, but drop that when we need to. Alright, do we have a bird nest up here? Yes, we do. Too bad this. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, beautiful. I was about to say, do we have a cooking pot in here? Too bad it wasn't the um the bathroom portion. So then you've got a sink with the chance of finding a wrench. Ooh. Ah, I can't catch him. It's a bit too quick for me. Might even uh, craft some arrows now. And then we can make a bow. And that way we can actually look at taking down an animal to get us out some bones. Nest down there, sir. Alright, got some clothing. I'll take that. Make sure he's alone. Hopefully, these don't uh, cause me to overheat. go wrong with the egg so here we go here's a sink come on wrench nope pistol nope and like i said i'm going to try my hardest to edit these videos down i want to get them to around 20 20 minutes at the least 30 minutes at the max um horde nights are going to be a bit hard so you guys let me know in the comments below how you want me to go about with that. If you want a longer episode for Horde Night, or if you prefer a Horde Night to be its own episode. It's when you unlock your trader quest. Now, if you don't actually go to the trader straight away, anytime you come close to a trader, it's going to mark them on your map. So we actually have a trader just down here. And what we want to do is we want to place a waypoint on them. And now let's say if we travel up here, and there's a trader right there, it's actually going to show us on the map that trader instead. So it can be a quick way to find all the traders on your map. Alright, should be looking pretty good for resources now. What am I getting to a thousand wood? Maybe a hundred plant fiber. But judging by the time, we do need to go find a POI to uh, bunker up in for the night. Clear it out of zombies, we can get some storage down and start crafting. It's quite funny, I'm not used to these uh, one hour days. I play two hour days in my world, so it's definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. But yeah, definitely a lot of bird nests in the uh, burnt forest biome, which is bloody good for me. Might even craft some more arrows. That, another 34. Alright, what about this time? Do we have a reach? Nope. Pistol? <laughs> nope. Oh, the real question. Alright, it's time to take down our first animal. Some meat would be nice, but I especially want those bones. Come on, boy. Come here, piggy. Oh, come on. Really? Get a headshot. Beautiful. Oh well, there goes dinner. Oh, he's, he's trapped in the block. So this way we can get ourselves a little bit of meat and we can get some bones more importantly the hide will be helpful too we do hunt a couple animals and get 20 hide then we can make ourselves a forge that would be great too all right there we go a later weapon all right so we should be pretty good for wood and stone and maybe just a little bit more plant fibers. Now, I do think I actually leveled up for completing the trader quest. 
yes we did all right so what i recommend always for your first level if you want sexual tyrannosaurus this oh i like that you need two levels never mind <laughs> ignore me Go down with the headshot. Alright, nothing now. That crack, get that charred meat. Nope. Alright, last sink. We got a wrench. I'll take the jar though. And more turns. No, thank you. Oh, come on. <laughs> what about this? You're right. No luck today. I can see the next biome. You know what they say? Grass is always greener on the other side. Six hours in game before the night time starts. And I'm not actually too sure how long that is, but I feel like it's not going to be very long at all. Oh, we're hunted. Did I get that one? No, I didn't. Feathers. So you mate, you uh, travelled a bit far out of your biome, didn't you? Right, easy. Oh, oh, come off it. All right, was not expecting a dog. Come on. Ha ha ha, would you look at that. Dead on day one. Beautiful, bloody dogs. It's quite funny, somebody mentioned to me that dogs spawn in the burnt forest biome, and I've never seen them in there, so. Thanks for that tip. Definitely noted. Now the worst thing is, we don't have a bag, uh, have a sleeping bag down, a bedroll, and I don't know if we're going to make it back to our stuff. Depending on where we spawn. Now I really want to get back to my stuff because that is some bullshit. But hey, welcome to seven days to die, eh? <laughs> and it goes to show too, you can uh, be a pro at this game, still be a noob at the same time. Well, there's a POI. And where have we spawned? Tell you what guys, we're going to gun it. We're going for that bag. And then we're going to run back to that POI. Now I don't necessarily need the stuff in the bag, but I want it. And we might as well collect plant fiber along the way. And yeah, just pray that we don't run into that dog again, eh? That's a pistol clip. Grip. Pistol grip. My bad. Oh man, we're pushing up for time and stam, I'm not going to lie. Down team wellness. Now, part of me wants to uh, try again just so I don't have that death, but I think it would be a good thing to leave in the series just to show people, you know, it is part of the game. You do die, and the best thing you can do is just carry on. Now I sort of hope that we can find a different POI on the way there, because I don't think I'll be making it back to that other one. Nice big beautiful open fields though, and we found a good amount of bird nests on the way. And a bunch of zombies too. And 
Look at them. Everywhere. We got the old tweaker chasing us down. Like I said in one of my other videos, he's quick on his feet. I'll give him that. Oh, look at that. We got a city right there. I think that's where we're going to be spending the night, guys. How are we looking for Stam? All right. How close are we? Might be a smart idea to walk there, get our Stam back, and then just straight gun it for that city. We're going to have to pick a house, clear it out, and do our best to hold off for the night. So I might not get to do as much crafting as I wanted, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, to be that meat that I had on my character. Bloody dog would have sniffed it out. Now, I probably should have made some uh, spike traps and put them on my hot bar, but it's all good. We're just going to get in and out. Oh, yeah, we're close now. Alright, we just got to hope that he's not guarding our bag. So I know what these dogs are like. They like to uh, stick around. Alright, pretty much here, so we're just going to creep our way in. Now, uh, hope for the best. Worst case, I might actually be able to jump on top of that car. Shoot him with a bow. There he is. Alright, you ready guys? Oh, no. Couldn't even get all my stuff. Um, what could we be missing? Not even too sure. Close, isn't it? There you are. Good idea. Just gonna drop that there for now. We're gonna run back and grab the rest of that bag. Is it a bad idea? Probably. <laughs> but hey, like I said, it's all for fun. guys we gotta move probably shouldn't grab the meat but hey seems to be that we're full of bad ideas here Stay in the bar tonight. We definitely want to take care of this guy first. He's going to cause us the most problem. Now the good thing about having to fight these zombies off is we should be able to get ourselves some uh, good XP from this. Any horde. meat on us. Not uh, used to this much great. Oh, easy there fella. Oh, 
long as we can get rid of these bloated walkers, and the rest shouldn't be too hard. One. Watch out for that crawler too. Yeah, I see you, mate. Don't be creeping up on me. Black Ops Zombies. Just train them up. Oh, look at that. That guy just bloody spawned in. Come on. Look at that. He's storming over here. He's pissed. Beautiful. Alright, before I loot them quickly, we are. Where is it? I'm gonna make a storage chest. Yeah, I think we'll be uh, sleeping up here for the night. Shut that down. Just gonna dump all of this stuff and go uh, do some looting real quick. Might need those arrows. Need to make sure there's not a ladder around here. I've got a funny feeling there is right there. Yes. Ooh, and I'm not going to be breaking that ladder out either, am I? Alright, I got it. Let's go loot. Oh, bullets, food, painkillers. Beautiful. Got a hat. Mining helmet would have been ideal, but we'll be into those cars first thing in the morning. Definitely be doing a good, good amount of looting in this town. Need that glass. Alright, pretty sure that's all of them. Alright, how long would it take me to break this out? Alright, night begins. Probably should have broken out that one. That's all good. I'm just going to chuck a couple of frames up here. And yeah, hope for the best, I guess. Maybe even if we do them like this, then we might be able to bang them in the head if they do pop up there. So, Alright, there goes day one. And it's time for us to get a bit more organised. campfire but yeah i don't know guys let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode i could scrap the episode and do a new one because i died but like i said i'm pretty tempted to keep it dying is quite a big part of this game and you just got to sort of take it as it is and yeah like i said guys even though we died we can uh i can show you how quickly we can bounce back and yeah Still own the apocalypse. So we're just gonna scrap a lot of this stuff. Don't need that. Might even cook this meat. Probably a bad idea, but hey, we seem to be full of them. Alright, so we're gonna scrap some of this rind just so at the end of the night we can uh, make ourselves a quality 100 iron reinforced club. That's definitely gonna help out tomorrow. And we're going to get these arrows crafting and start working on our tools and weapons. And see if we can achieve this goal by the end of the night. Alright guys, I can hear a bit of scuffling around down there. I'm just going to try to poke my head out and have a wee look.
was gonna say. Thank God it's not a wandering horde on day one. But I do think we got a wee zombie uh, hanging around down there. Anyway. Yeah, there he is. Now it's almost daytime, so I think that's a perfect time to end this episode. Now, we survived the night, but we didn't exactly survive the day. Thank God this isn't a hardcore series, eh? Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. You'll have to let me know in the comments below so I know whether or not to continue on with this series. But yeah, as always, stay safe out there, survivors, and I'll see you in the next one.